they the council has chosen the verdict of not destroying for lack of a better word Mr. McTavish however they've also not uh, sort of ruled to let him run free um, they thought you made some good points and they also felt that the other council made some good points and that essentially this is now your responsibility oh. Dog food almost basically gets on like all fours and you start to see like some of the claws come out. This is, this is a fury frenzy. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of things happen all at once as this happens. So, uh, Charlotte, you are aware of what's happening. Elizabeth, you are aware of what's happening. Charlotte, you actually see Nell start to move as, as she sees like the situation has very much escalated. And as you're like anticipating like the blow before like you you manage to like bring dog food to heal, mm. you see like her knee in the back of of her of her like sort of uh, in, the, in the back of dog food's back, and her arm like very firmly around her neck, Nell like on top of dog food with dog food pinned. Mm. Um, and as she brings down her full force of weight and like pulls your like neck up you know dog food like i said you take uh that too superficial damage as you feel like your spine almost like your undead spine like crack a little bit in place and then she said and then she says to you dog food and combined with with ulrica bringing you to heal i'm going to say this like gets you to stop because this is like mm-hmm. it, it, it exceeds like yeah your your willpower um she says not in my house And we're back. So uh, Nell and Charlotte are, are in the car. Um, it's, it's, it's a, I don't know. You tell me, Char- Charlotte, is it, is it a quiet ride? It's a, yeah. You can hear a pin drop. Yeah. Yeah. Nell's not the type to press you. Um, you know, she assumes if you want to talk to her, you'll talk to her. Uh, she drops you off in front of the Court of Cups. There are two Blantes sitting outside the door. You notice, actually, let me say this. You notice immediately there's no one inside. Your normal patrons are not there. You get a glimpse of Loretta behind the counter. And as you come up to the door, um, you see you see two Blantes as well as all of the on signs are, or open signs are flipped off, um, which is very rare for, for your cafe, you know, um, cafe slash bar, I should say. And there's two Blantes on the floor in that note that Elizabeth left there that read, if you want to behave like animals, you can sleep outside like animals. Uh, did Nell already drive Bombs away? pissed. <laughs> uh, no. Nell is uh, idling and she's like playing on her phone, fidgeting on her phone, I should say. Um, do we not have keys for our cafe? <laughs> you never asked. <laughs> It's always open. It's a 24-hour cafe. Yeah, it's always open. I yeah. mean, I'm sure you will after this. <laughs> All right, well, I gla- grab one of the blattes and I go to Nell. And mm. be like, would you like a blatte? Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Can I crash at your place tonight? Uh, uh, uh yeah, uh, uh, get get in the truck. Uh, bring bring a let's let's have a a a, a cough, coffee together. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of like, you know, waits for you to get in. Starts the car. Starts driving nowhere in particular. She's like, uh, uh I got I got I got some places we could we could crash. With. Yeah. Yeah. I have some safe safe spots. And she starts like, um, going through her phone, looking through her pins. Uh, probably not that one. That one's kind of. And she like looks at you, and she's like, "No, we gotta, we gotta choose something a little nicer." Um, is oh. is uh is everything okay? I think Elizabeth just needs some space. Mm. Mom's pissed. Yeah, mom's pissed. <laughs> um, also slake one hunger, Charlotte, if you haven't already. 
Oh, you're uh, at zero. Zero, yeah. <laughs> zero, and I don't think the blattes do anything for me. Mm, right, right, right. Um, yeah, like uh, after actually, yeah. So Nell would notice that, like as you're as you're kind of like you know in the car together, and she's driving, and she's like, uh, so uh, what Marina said is true. I take a drink out of the blatte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll a charisma and um, performance, I guess. Charisma and performance. Oh, charisma. One success. Um, let's roll her insight. Okay. Um, as you like drink, she notices like kind of your mild, like there's just something small in your expression that kind of like gives it away your mild distaste, or I guess like the face you make, cause it's very rare for you to drink blood. So as you, as you drink the Vitae, like you just like, you make like this, the slightest taste or not even like a look of, um, displeasure, but more of like this is weird or this tastes like licking pennies, you know, especially cause it is like, you know, a, a blatte of all things. Right. And, um, she's kind of like, I mean, I've heard weirder things about Malkavians. She just sighs. I guess. Yes. I'm an organivore. It's gotta be complicated. Makes it difficult to keep my hunger at bay. Sometimes you're able to get a piece of someone without killing them, and sometimes you don't. Mm. I mean, you are who you are. Can't really help it. I assume not. I don't think anybody really wants to. It'd uh, be a little bit easier without it, but but I think you would understand why I'd want to not be very open about it. Yeah, uh, a lot of of us don't like talking about how we feed in general. You know. It's a kind of vulnerable situation. I, I uh, used to have a pet snake and um, you'd have to put a towel over her enclosure whenever you fed her because she would get so nervous about people watching her when she ate. She'd unlock her jaw and be halfway through with a mouse and she got startled or felt uncomfortable, she'd try to regurgitate it and push it out the other way. Uh, weird thing about snakes is that everything in their body is just like a one-way trip. So the best thing to do to avoid that is to give them privacy. It's weird that I have that in common with her now. It's weird that we all kind of have that in common with her now. No one wants to be caught with their jaw unhinged. That is very, very fair point. Yeah. It's very vulnerable for no matter what, for all kindred. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it weirds me out a little bit. It's a little uncomfortable. Just kind of wish. Uh, I'm not gonna say you were obligated to tell me. I understand that. It's just kind of annoyed that you didn't think to cover your tracks better. Because now this kind of falls back on me. 
And if they look into it and consider it a masquerade breach, it could be difficult for me too because I've vouched for you to the prince and to other people. In some ways, I've enabled you to do at least some of what you've done. I just kind of would have appreciated the heads up, I guess. I apologize. I don't think I realized that my actions were hurting anyone else other than the people that I'm eating. I didn't really think about it in the sense of a wider <laughs> um, proximity of not only my coterie, but also you. Because you're right, you have been vouching for us and essentially protecting us. Um, and I don't think we have at all paid you any, like any amount close to how much you've done for us. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry for that. And I'm going to try to be better and I'm going to try to help the coder be better. I appreciate that. I thought I was going to get a birthday party out of it, but it doesn't oh. look like that's happening now. Oh, the birthday party's still happening. Once everyone stops being unhappy with each other, or everyone will be fine just to have a birthday party because who doesn't love a birthday party? She like smirks and she's like, I need some of your optimism, just like 2% of it. Oh, people want to just forget sometimes that they're unhappy just to have a good time. True. She like pulls up to um, a sort of, a, I guess like a not, yeah, condos, I think is what I'm thinking of duplex I was gonna say duplex but it's like you know it's like these condos um in Fremont and uh scans a card and parks inside and she then like gets out of the truck and she's like this is one of my spots and she like kind of takes you upstairs um she has the keys to like you know unit 3c and she opens it when you come inside, it's uh, n- <laughs> the decor is not exactly what you were expecting. Um, a lot of it is very dated. And uh, she, you see, you notice that like the, the, the carpet is like a shag carpet. It's like very plush. <laughs> and everything is like kind of that burnt orange color and the condo itself is not very nice um it's a like i said it's an older one like it's got you know a a a shared garage and then you know you you got you got to go you know you have to go up these stairs on the side and um the walls are kind of thin um and uh she's got like a a kitchen that looks like it hasn't been touched in a long time and uh, a pool table in her living room instead of a tv And she doesn't really have any sitting area. She's like, "Uh, don't use this place much, but pretty sure it's going to crash for the night. She takes you over to like a a hallway on the right. And um, there you notice like there's a normal bedroom. And uh, she goes to what it what looks to be a walk in closet, slides it open. And you notice it's like outfitted differently. Um, It's not big, but there is like a material coating the walls that's uh, very light absorbing. It's a very dark kind of closet. And she's like, sorry, it's a little, it's not, it's not much. No, this is perfect. Thank you. You didn't have to let me stay in one of your places. Um, out of curiosity, did you buy this new? Uh, I, I think at the, at the time it was probably new. Yeah. Curious. It's held up pretty pretty well. The neighborhood's gotten a little pricier now, so I'm happy I got it when I did. 1970. Um, she like 
looks like mildly <laughs> insulted and she's like well you didn't get you didn't have to read me to filth like that and I, I i get it like the, the carpet could probably you know the green i i've gotten comments about the carpet before i was just making sure i knew the time frame because it kind of looks like the where i grew when i grew up we will have no allies left <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's, uh, familiar to you then yes yeah the, yeah I've, I've never really bothered to to renovate it past you know this like closet modification i did myself used to watch a lot of bob vila videos and just kind of no, i think this place is perfect because it reminds me of growing up all right um so there's a there's a cotton there um I think there's a nightlight if you want it. Uh, these two sliding doors, um, they do let in light. So you have to make sure you pull the curtain shut. And you notice she points she points out like a curtain rod she's installed on the inside of the walk-in closet. And then she like says to you, she's like, make sure you close that curtain because the way these doors are, the light's going to come in. All right. Um, no. Yeah, of course. Uh, she hands you the keys. Um, you can just drop them by my restaurant whenever. Uh, she like puts her hand awkwardly on her shoulder. Uh, uh, I hope you uh, make up with your with your with your. Uh, uh, good night. <laughs> she like turns around. I want to like Aww. Charlotte wants to try and like give her a hug from behind and goes thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you. You see like from behind you see like every like muscle just kind of like freeze. It doesn't stiffen <laughs> but it just like freezes as you like hug her and she's like she just like pats you on the hand like oh, this moment is done. <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah, no, no, no problem. And uh, she leaves with her blonde sipping it very casually. Um, she takes yours too, you notice. <laughs> she was hangry. Um, and yeah, she 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 leaves. And you are alone. Like, you know, the closet is she you notice now, like it's it is a little cozy. It looks a little bit like a teenager's room. Um, there's a twin mattress like inside oh the closet, God. you know. Um, there's a there is a string of lights that she's like put up around that you can turn on. Uh, that's the night light you think she was referring to. Um, the curtains, as you pull them closed, are they're they're like very they're like blackout curtains, but there are like um, designs on the inside of it. There's like little pictures and stuff that she's like pinned to the to the fabric. Um, <laughs> you're muted, I think. For, for the podcast, oh. I'm looking delighted. Yeah. What are they? <laughs> what are they? Yeah. Um, as you look on the inside, you notice there are some like from photo booths. Um, she looks the same in them. Um, there is pictures of, uh, let's see. Oh gosh. Like, uh, a lot of athletes and things like that. Like Christy Yamaguchi, Jackie Joyner, Kersey, things like that are pinned back there. Um, and then you also see like, uh, little excerpts of like poetry and, and things like that are put back there. Not none of them written by her, but like cut out from magazines and stuff like that. And the back of the curtain is kind of like a like a cork board, you know. Oh my god. This looks like a good slice of like this like interpersonal <laughs> Nell. <laughs> and sh like Charlotte just like spends the evening just like like learning <laughs> learning about this very closed off person. Yeah, you see, you see like, like news and things like, yeah, okay, okay. So as you're like looking through this, you do feel like you get a bit of a picture of the decades almost, if that makes sense. Like you see, you can see when the 80s came and went and you can see the dream team. <laughs> um, and like, you know, like little clippings like that. Um, there's like, it like I said, it's like a it's like a multi decadal, if that's a word, not you know, uh corkboard. Um, and you get from looking at it that um Nell has a sort of 
fondness for, I guess, let me see. Um, like success stories, you know, more recently you see like, like clippings of, uh, like her, her clippings kind of end as of like 10 years ago. So you can tell that like she has, she actually hasn't used this room in a while, but you could tell that she's a big fan of like the underdog, if that makes sense. Or she loves a good success story. Um, and you notice now a lot of the poems are like inspirational ones or, um, ones about facing adversity and like making it through. And uh, she's like one of those people that would, that would, you know, read a motivational book when we're sitting there like, who buys these? Nell, Nell buys these. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see where Ulrika is. I was headed to the club. The yeah. Mercury, yeah. Where I used to live mm -hmm. and where my friend Raymond is. Mm. And um this is this was like your your haven. Yeah, but so I ran away from home and I became a vampire and I started living at this club. Like I was living at the club beforehand, but mm -hmm. yeah. Very complicated history. <laughs> and um is Raymond a kindred or a uh, he's a human. He's a human. He knows he something's have... weird. Yeah, but he's not on to you yet. He doesn't know. Yeah. Some very bad things happened to him uh, a long time. He had a like, bad time. <laughs> he had a bad time in the our first season. <laughs> so he knows something is weird. He doesn't know what. Um, and he just kind of like leaves me alone about it, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this the type of relationship where I'm assuming you haven't seen each other in a while? Uh, yes, we haven't. Um, mm hmm however many months this has been like yeah with, yeah uh do you think he would be like happy a, to see you or annoyed um well he treats me like he took me in because i reminded him of his younger sister that oh. doesn't but he i i don't remember what happened to her but he doesn't mm -hmm. have contact with her anymore i can't remember if she passed away or what but um he might be annoyed because i haven't been in touch yeah yeah. And I just drop in. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember how we left off the last time we saw each other, but I think he would be irritated that we didn't see. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, yeah. Raymond is there. And he has like, uh, just out of character. He has an office like downstairs and the club's mm -hmm. upstairs. Um, okay. But yeah. yeah. We'll say that's where he is since I'm yeah, like he's stepping into the middle. Of yeah, I'll, do like, my, I'll do my best to be faithful. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. Mm -hmm. You could you could make him however you feel. Uh, I was just giving you like a, a location yeah. of where he, he might be upstairs. Like okay. just, just his office is like a, in a downstairs area that's probably made up because, you know, we don't know the exact the actual architecture of the Mercury. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, um, when you go in, mm -hmm. uh, there are people that recognize you. Mm-hmm. You know, that you used to like live here. You were here all the time, I'm assuming. So yeah. or in and out all the time. So you get some people that are like excited or surprised to see you. Mm -hmm. And somebody does tell you like, uh, are you here to see Raymond? I kind of just ignore everyone. I don't like <laughs> I'm not really in the mood to like yeah. deal. Someone else I is might, like, Erica, let me buy you a drink. I might accidentally even still have Daunt on, to be honest, like mm -hmm. like not really like full on, but it's mm -hmm. just like, yeah, the, you, you look so, like yeah. you, yeah. You know, someone says like, Oh, let me buy you a drink. They recognize you from behind you turn around. They're like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> kind of walk away. Um, I, uh, I imagine myself like going to where I would normally be like, like say, um, a table. Right. Mm -hmm. And since I haven't been there in a while, someone's there. Right. Some yeah. person I don't even fucking know is there. Yeah. So I just stare at them. Like I just stand there and stare at them. Yeah. They they get up awkwardly <laughs> and yeah. uh offer you their seat and they're like, uh I I was gonna go get another drink. Did you would you like anything? Here, here you go. Uh lady lady seat. Yeah. Thanks. And I just said I'll sit there. And I I think I'm gonna sit there and think about I'm trying to pick someone that I'm just 
I want to unleash my anger on because mm-hmm. I still have it pent up. I didn't want to take it out on dog food, but I feel like it's still there. Yeah. Like yeah. on the, like just below the surface, like any little thing could probably trigger it. Um, so I don't know if Raymond would be upstairs or downstairs right now, but it's probably good if he's not upstairs, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say he's, he's probably downstairs. You would have run okay. into him by now, or he would have sought you out if he saw right. you. Right. Um, so is there like, I want to scan, kind of scan the room to like pick a target. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking for? Just someone, someone, or... someone I could just tell is kind of taking it, maybe trying to take advantage of someone or just a jerk. Okay. Um, give me a, let's see, a uh, intelligence and insight check. I had to up those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all going to be hunger dice. So good. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I know that sound. I want to be able to lift up my camera to show you what I actually rolled because it's two skulls and a success. So it's like a fucking bad time mm-hmm. on a blood dice. <laughs> well, as long as you have one success. Oh, okay, it cancels ha- it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From god my damn. understanding, I believe oh that's god. the case. Um, yeah, what you don't want is a a skull dice with no with other dice negating dice. factor yeah 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 it's the same thing with with um blood dice in general like when okay. you when you roll blood dice like the only time it can get really bad really quickly is if you roll no successes okay um, yeah there's it's three dice two skulls and one success so that's what i have yeah uh so yeah you don't you don't get uh you don't get a bestial failure okay um, that being said that's like you rolled two ones there. So that's yeah. Like- I failed something. <laughs> I just, everyone pisses me off. Like everyone. <laughs> yeah. When you look around, you're just like hungry, angry. The, the blood is still hot in your veins because mm-hmm. you, there was a part of you that wanted to hit dog food back. Mm-hmm. Just didn't think that it was the right thing to you. Like you didn't want to hurt her, mm-hmm. but the, there was a part of you that wanted to like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah shut her up yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um that was and also like the idea of like you know i think part of it would be like when dog food said you know i'm still trying to figure out if you're part of the pack like there was like this this gauntlet throw down of like i get to decide who's in the pack and i also feel like that wouldn't have sat well with all no. of them um so you're scanning around and you this is how it goes in my mind you you settle on someone with a tap out shirt. You don't know if they're a bad person or not. Oh, you I know, just don't fucking person. like them. Yeah, there's a bad person. They have that shirt yeah, on. No offense to anyone in the yeah. audience wearing a tap out shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like no, Mm-mm. not that. No, good enough. Why why are you in my goth club? Is yeah, probably yeah, a black a black tap out shirt that has like silver writing on it with mm-hmm. like like yeah. You're just like no. Not this. Mm. Does it say Dracula didn't tap? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> what? There's a there's a line of uh, mixed martial arts clothing called Jesus didn't tap. Uh, and I was oh. trying to come up with the goth equivalent, which is Dracula didn't tap. I didn't know about the clothing. What is this? But there's a- I thought you were talking about Dracula tapping something, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think all the best jokes require a really in-depth knowledge of uh, Christian-themed mixed martial arts merchandise. No. I didn't know that was a niche. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's run by... Uh, so how, how deep into this do you want to go? It's so got to be on the bonus segment of the show. How do we, like, how do we know that Jesus wouldn't tap? Well, so this... Uh, oh, Jesus tapped. This theory is put forward by Jason David Frank. <laughs> Who owns the uh, the line? Wait, like the Power the, Ranger? Call me the Green Power Ranger. Okay, yeah. that's why I know. <laughs> okay. Um and uh, yeah, he uh, he owns a line called "Jesus doesn't tap," and I tried to come up with a goth version of it. I've now explained this joke 
for three minutes and it, it wasn't it wasn't a good joke is what i'm realizing but i just hope that me explaining it i laugh just because some kind of amusement my mind somewhere. went a different direction when you said dracula doesn't tap oh it, you think it was an intercourse joke yes. i would never make such a joke right. no <laughs> I apologize. No, anyway. nah, that was like a like. I'm not. This is a Christian show. There, it's gonna be so hard for me to get back on track with like this idea yeah. that like Jesus doesn't tap. Yeah, it's, like, a, it's a it's a bad thing to introduce to someone that Jason David Frank has his own line of Christian themed MMA gear when they're trying to concentrate on the game. Because then, like, what, like, what do you do with the, that knowledge? Well, in wait, G- the Green Power Ranger has didn't? this. Yeah, the like, Green Power you know? Ranger. No, my God. <laughs> like, do we do we know that he didn't like when he when they did all that terrible stuff? So terrible, terrible, unexcusable. Maybe he did tap, and they still kept going. Like we don't. Yeah, no, no one's defending Pontius Pilate here. That was. That <laughs> was See, the you're wrong. going I a different direction, Jasmine. Was... I'm thinking about like he definitely took advantage of people that worshipped him. It was like, yeah, I'd tap that. <laughs> oh, I'm still on the whole like, <laughs> tapping out of like a chokehold or yeah. tapping out of like a. Yeah, you I was know. thinking I just, wrestling, right? Isn't this? Yeah, yeah I, that's what it no is. Way. That's yeah. what it is. But when he said Dracula didn't tap, I was thinking sexually because Dracula, oh, okay. vampire, sexual. Yeah, got it. Uh, Regardless, then, Jesus, Jesus doesn't tap. I, I was like, like well, Jesus definitely. was a pacifist, so I don't know. Yeah, was it yeah. like I mean, y'all he be cool? Yeah, he didn't do MMA generally. <laughs> yeah, but if he did, <laughs> that's my understanding. If he did and he was he put in a hold, how do we know he wouldn't be like, you know what, this ain't worth it? Yeah, I haven't read the whole Bible. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I feel like somewhere, somewhere in the New Testament, there's definitely a scene where there's wrestling and someone taps. So we should. Yeah. I'm like, there's a I'm lot like, of I'm, tapping in the sexual sense of the Bible. Like, so. My brain is like, like, <laughs> I'm like, wait, if somebody taps, right? Like, yeah. I don't, I feel like tapping is no would... shame. There's no shame in tapping because no, I love how Lydia is just like sparring. taking notes. I don't know what you're doing. In the sense that, like, you know, if you allowed somebody to get you in a hold like that and you like the, the, there's no shame in tapping out. It's like, you know, you I mean, I think you would tap out at the spear in the ribs or maybe even the crown. <laughs> I think the implication yeah. is that he never went. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm tapping no. out. No. Yeah. Satan well, wins, Jesus- I guess. Bye. <laughs> you couldn't really <laughs> tap at the end. <laughs> Bye. We ca- is it okay, uh, Tom? Oh, can like, we cut all this out? Yes. <laughs> all of it has to go. Yeah, I do want people to know. Oh, I definitely think this. not in favor of Pontius Pilate. Think he made the wrong call. Yeah. yeah. But I also think that Jesus, in an MMA hold, as a renowned pacifist, would probably tap. I think that's the the part that the audience didn't see. That is our, uh, you yeah. know, kind of. Yeah. yeah, I think he, yeah, because I don't think he would yeah. even get in the ring. I think he would just tap. I think he wouldn't even show up. Yeah, he'd say, yeah. "Hey, hey, Jesus, do you want to fight?" And he'd just be like, "Tap, tap, tap." I don't fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's it's a much tap. better. Yeah, we should just cut out the other ten minutes, and we should just have it. We should have the thing start at you know, Jason David Frank has this line, and and then and cut, and then here jump. So cut. if everyone just laughs now, yeah, we'll cut that right after my joke. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. Uh, You're so funny. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't, you, know, you, can, you can never hear that enough. It's true. It's true. So where so were we? Were we <laughs> you, see a, you see a dude whose idea of goth clothing, clothing is a tap out shirt, a black tap out shirt All with right. the skull on it and, you know, some, some silver design. I activate awe. Okay. It is activated. Is he at the? He's at the bar. Or um, he... he's drinking a beer. Is he talking to anyone? Uh, he is. He's talking to another man. Okay. So I decided. To... What is he drinking? A beer. No. Oh. I'll go to the bar and ask for. He's, he's got a tap out shirt on. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. I go to the bar and ask. Yeah, no, God, no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, I go up to the bar and ask for two whiskeys because I want to uh, pretend to drink one. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they slide you two. Okay. And I take them and go uh, step in front of the person. Not step totally in front, but just kind of like 
like here i uh i think you need this drink to the tap out yeah to tap out he looks at the drink looks at you with your with your awe mm. um and is immediately in, impressed you know or immediately finds something about you that is magnetic to him uh, and he's like uh yeah sure doesn't normally drink whiskey but it's one of those cases where it's like doesn't want to say no to a drink from you so he like mm. grabs it uh and he's like bombs up and like clinks his glass with yours and throws it back do you do you do so as well no i just set mine down <laughs> okay um let me see if he notices okay it's one of those things where it's like it's, he's drunk he mm -hmm. he does not okay uh i'm like why don't you follow me i'm just like getting to the point because i'm just mad right i'm just mad <laughs> i'm not gonna fuck around i'm just like why don't you follow me yeah with your like i said with your on and everything um he thinks that like any anything you say is going to be appealing to him Mm -hmm. So you say, why don't you follow me? He thinks something good's going to happen. And he's mm -hmm. like, yeah. He follows you. So I take him to like the darkest corner of the club. Mm -hmm. And uh, I assume like there's a booth or something. I, I don't know. So I invite him to sit in it um, beside me. Yeah. He sits down next to you. His bro's like, whatever dude you know like all mad <laughs> <laughs> St standing alone now by the bathrooms right. looking like a fool right so i asked uh what's your name bread bird mm. <laughs> at least you didn't say chad <laughs> I wasn't Kyle. No, I said any Chads. No, I was the the <laughs> Brad. No, Brad. No, no Chads watch this show. Brad Chadford. <laughs> Brad Chadford. Um, br uh, Bradford? Yeah. Bradford. Yeah. So uh, what brings you here? Why are, why are you uh, uh, here? Oh, they had a kill the tap, a kill the keg uh, event. Mm, half off all the beers until the keg's killed. Mm. What do you do? Uh, he's, you know, he's kind of evasive about it. I'm in finance. <sighs> no! <laughs> My eyes narrow. I'm going to try and just like project like an Emperor Palpatine voice <laughs> into Orca's head that just goes, kill him. Kill yeah. <laughs> The worst part is uh, like, how, like I've had this happen in like real life when you're like at a party with someone and they do Finance. this and then and then they get like drunk enough and halfway through the party they circle back to you mm -hmm. and are like guilty about it and they're like no I work at like Enterprise Rent a Car <laughs> just yes. like or I work at the bank as a like, teller like, or it's just yeah. something like totally uh, mundane as if that takes away their value as a human being right like, mm -hmm. I hate yeah. people all right no offense to bank tellers I was a bank teller no. a long time ago there's <laughs> nothing wrong with anyone's <laughs> job the, the problem is when they lie about it right yeah. now yeah. that gives you the it's right fine. to eat them as a vampire <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah his name is Bradford he's Ch got a Chadwick. Out shirt. Chadwick Chadwick Brad Chadwick Bradford. Oh my God. I once had someone say to me, and I'm not sure if they were trying to pick me up or not, but said to me, uh, like, I was like, oh, so what do you do? And he goes, I make money. <laughs> no! That and guy I, said that no, to no, you? No, no, no. It gets, it gets, it's going to get worse. So <laughs> brace yourself. And he goes, it's so like like making money doing, doing what? And he goes, I'm in business. <laughs> oh. Okay. And I said, like, what kind of business? And he went, I'm in the business of making money. Oh my god! And making money is my business. I think he was trying to recruit you into a pyramid scheme. That's just yeah. Right. I think I it no, was that, or I have no idea what the both. play was, but I've never forgotten it. This he was, was going to try to get you to sell Amway. Oh my god! Yeah, um, it was. Or anyway, Cutco. Yeah. He was going to try to get you to sell knives. <laughs> that's that's this guy. <laughs> or this guy. I would have brought a knife off him at that point. Or maybe Absolutely. he was I, part of Nexium. Not sure. <laughs> I um 
But yeah, I've never forgotten it. And I've always think whenever I feel bad about myself, as I think at least I'm not telling strangers in a bar. Making money is my business. And my it sounds business like something is making money. That sounds like something J- Jackie Daytona would say. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like bad NPC dialogue in a video game. Yeah. You know, but do when you click on someone, they don't it's, have any dialogue. They just say mm, the same thing over and over. Yeah. Again. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Have you ever been uh, given this pickup line? Uh, nice shoes want to fuck. That's ah. the line that's happened to me. That's crazy. That is you, know, crazy. What, you know, my favorite random is dialogue real. is from like a, a game. It's actually from Bloodlines. So this is relevant to our game right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, I know. Gotcha chat. This is a good impression, too. Uh <laughs> It's this random character that's like right near your apartment. And he just goes, what is he? He says something about the neighborhood. And he goes like, uh, you can't find a bidet around here anywhere. <laughs> and In he the just game? Said that. Y- yes. Yeah, good luck yes. finding a bidet around here. Yeah, that's what he says. Like, good luck finding a bidet around here. And you're just like, why do you need a bidet? <laughs> do you need to wash your asshole? It's so <laughs> specific. <laughs> <laughs> why are you saying that in a that game as dialogue yeah and he says it like on loop every time you walk by he's like good luck finding a bidet around here and you're just like someone wrote that as a like as a bark that was on a spreadsheet <laughs> somewhere hurts. like things i that love hurts. it but i'm also so confused could you imagine being the voice actor in the booth where it's like all right so what's my character what's the next line? line uh good luck finding a bidet around here no, that's uh, that's not quite it, Nigel. Could you try it again? You were popping a little bit. Could it well, just a, a same, but with a little ex- exhalation of breath? Like good luck finding a bidet around here. The bee is definitely popping there. Try it again. <laughs> uh, anyway, <it's- laughs> Bradford explains to you that he uh, just spent some time in Japan, and he's. You know, random, but wishes that American bathrooms had bidets. <laughs> Bringing it back, Segway Master. Yeah, um, I'm sure. I mean, like, there's like nothing wrong with like you know wanting to be like it just makes so much more sense than like just using wads of paper if you think about it to just have that you know just ran you know. Yeah, I mean, that's very interesting. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of t- totally thrown off by the bidet. <laughs> <laughs> like, Elrica's just like, yeah, he's like, I did some finance. I uh, uh, just got back from right. a trip to Japan. Really wish there was bidets in Seattle. <laughs> I just, Kill I just me. go into, I just go in to feed on him. <laughs> like, <I'm just laughs> That's like, enough. That's I'm like, enough. I'm not, like, I was trying to discern if this dude mm. was a jackass or not to see mm. if I should like feed on him and not give a shit what happens to him and he has clarified that so yeah i move in give me a uh charisma roll with your um i guess like your seduction my seduction where the fuck is that why can't i find it I feel like it's been a while since we've well it's under persuasion I think. oh persuasion seduction so i get an extra dice okay yeah i got it i got it, I got it. and then my Ah, oh, so that's five. Oh my god, it's a lot of dice. This poor man. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make it. The question is, wow, what's gonna happen? Is this guy gonna need a bidet? Is the question. Yeah. Uh, hold on, stand by. I gotta get more dice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'll just. We'll I'll just, just put, we should get a screen that just goes up saying, "Please wait." Oracle <laughs> is finding enough dice to roll a seduction roll. I just yeah. need one more. <laughs> There. I'll just re-roll the one. I'll just re-roll. <laughs> okay, so I got a crit. I got one, two, three successes additional to the crit. Let me roll one more, so it um, will be enough. And okay, so the, yeah, what I said already. So five. So, so I had a, a crit and three. But oh, wait. Sorry, hold on. It's complicated. Crit. Then there's a skull. Then there's one, two, three, four successes. Okay. So you have eight successes. Okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you like move in, he is very interested in you. Um, your attempt to sort of like 
because uh, you're. I'm. I guess I made a little bit of an assumption there that when you move into feed, it is like using your. Yeah. 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 Be like, yeah. Hey, he baby. thinks you're. He thinks you're gonna kiss him. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. So he. Little does he know. You know, as soon as he makes eye contact with you and you lean forward, he he like basically falls forward. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, uh, you successfully um feed on him. Like he's like putty in your hands, and for him, it feels amazing. Uh, how much hunger would you like to slake? I guess two. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> only because of where I am. Because you don't crap where you eat. Mm -hmm. So um, you crap know, where you sleep. Whatever. He's a little. He's a little uh, woozy when you're done. Mm -hmm. He's a little. You know out of it and he's like ah, you're amazing i'm a lightweight he thinks he's he's drunk i get up and leave i'll call you <laughs> you yeah you uh leave well actually you your own yeah. glenn huh you can have your own glenn i have another glenn yeah <laughs> he doesn't have my number <laughs> he doesn't he's no. just he's like lightheaded you know, like when you give blood, he's like that times two. He's like yeah, lightheaded, kind of yeah. drunk. Yeah. I just, I think about talking to Raymond, but I'm not really in the mindset to talk, to deal with that. So I just leave. Okay. Uh, or, where... I'm sorry. I don't leave. I have to sleep there. I forgot. That's why I, the whole reason I went there. Mm -hmm. I do have to go downstairs and talk to Raymond. Okay. You, as you go downstairs, you notice Raymond is like waiting at the stairs. Hmm. He was expecting you a little bit. And right. uh, he's just like, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Don't really want to talk about it. You in trouble? No. You haven't called for... So I, know, there's, I just there's... assume you showing up here can't be a, can't be a good thing. No, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because I feel safe here. You're always safe here. Are you sure you're not in trouble? I don't think I'm in trouble. It's just the people I've been dealing with. We had kind of a... Oh, you're in trouble with, with mom. A thing. <laughs> mm. Family matters. I consider you family. I kind of like, we're kind of, I'm imagining we're kind of standing like this where he's kind of facing this way and I'm just kind of walking yeah. past. Yeah. And I kind of just have my hand down there and I grab his hand and I kind of squeeze it. And then I he, just go downstairs. Yeah. He nods and he's like, uh, get some sleep. Thanks. And I go in my hole. Yeah. Uh, that leaves us with uh, dog food. Dog food, do you want to take refuge with Bubba? Yeah. I'm going to go and uh, go off with Bubba. And uh, I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the night as a dog. Mm -hmm. Maybe hanging out with uh, the actual dog pack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as the morning comes, just get Bubba to, to and possibly the rest of them, because they need a pretty big hole to dig a hole and bury me in it. Yeah. I don't even have like my sun bag or anything. It's just me just in a hole. Yeah. It's Seattle, it's probably raining. <laughs> yeah. Um where do you where do you dig your hole at? Uh I normally like there's a river close to the Court of Cups. Mm -hmm. Um so normally somewhere along the river, just sort of far enough in that people won't uh far enough into the the sort of shrubbery and, and woods that people won't notice it. Okay. Um, give me a, let's see, a uh, wits and survival role or intelligence and survival. You're... I say wits because I have slightly more wits. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two. I got two successes. Okay. So when you're done being buried in, you feel like you're you're pretty secure. Mm -hmm. um, 
yeah, it's a, it's a good thing to roll well on that because when you're yeah, like, the, the don't to, die roll. Yeah, when you're yeah. trying to make a uh, sort of haven in the wild, it can be it can be tough. It can be difficult, um, especially because you haven't done this in a little bit. Mm-hmm. And like you point out, you don't have your you don't have all of your materials to do it, but you're able to scout out a spot that's um, pretty shaded that you think um, you'll be able to to uh, sort of like take refuge in for the night. Um, and you do. Uh, your interactions with your pack are, are interesting. Like uh, you notice like uh, some of there's some new members. You know, there's some new uh, dogs that have kind of taken to uh, rolling around with y'all. Um, and there's others that are, are missing. Like some there's some new faces for you to interact with and some old faces are no longer there. Um, it makes you kind of feel like a little bit out of touch in a way that's uh, mildly uncomfortable, but nice for you to be in that space now, if that makes sense. Elizabeth. What, what do we see when we look at the, at, the, at the back of the Court of Cups? Was Elizabeth spending this evening? Oh, you mean back in her, her parlor? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's just like, there's she's got her feet up, you know? It's just like, it's nice in there. I feel like it's like raining outside a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, she's just sipping a latte in her finest cup and just like, I don't know, reading some... I don't know, maybe some Dickens, <laughs> mm-hmm. some Dickens novel. Yeah. Is she like brooding or does she seem? No, angry she's or... fine. Oh, okay. no, she's, she just is. She's just happy to teach them a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she, she finally, she put her, she feels like she put her foot down finally because they were acting so childish and she's, she feels like she has to continually cover up things and patch things over socially for mm-hmm. everyone mm-hmm. and uh i just think she's she feels like she's trying to remind them like whose house they live in like very parental yeah yeah like 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 though while it's still rude <laughs> what she's doing and not mature at all she thinks it's the peak of maturity yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> even though she's not sitting down and having a, a she should be having a reasonable talk with her family but she thinks that you know she's done the right thing peak of maturity she's putting her foot down and she's just enjoying her evening. <laughs> All right. I feel like, like she might be in the same space as dog food where like, you're so certain when you're angry that what you're doing is righteous. Yeah. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. And then you don't realize the last was like, Oh, I just absolutely embarrassed myself. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. A hundred percent. I did not look cool. I look no, like a I mean, dumbass. Yeah. She just looks like she's just like, in reality, it, what she did was a dick move, but she feels like she, taught them all a lesson yeah <laughs> you did though <laughs> it's true For it's sure. true i feel like it's it was a dick move because like in human reality like it's rude to do those things you should probably talk to people and not like be reactionary but in i feel like maybe in a in some sense she did teach a valuable not a valuable lesson but a definite lesson it's like don't you know mess with her because yeah, she could because she could make everything go away yeah yeah Mm -hmm. so and with that power play with uh elizabeth's feet on the desk reading a dickens novel drinking a blonte out of the fanciest you know cup she owns so fancy so fancy so extra yeah she's got like reading glasses on doesn't need them but they're just like very (laughs) prim Mm -hmm. yeah yeah (laughs) um that's where we'll take our last break and when we come back um our our kindred will awaken from their slumber and make some rouse checks 